Canotillo ISD is facing layoffs after the district was $6 million short for this school year. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Monica Cortez. Our reporter, Jesus Baltazar, joins us now. And Jesus, how did the district end up in like this in the first place, and what are they planning to do next? Monica, I sat down with Canutillo ISD officials, and they explained to me that in order to remain competitive with larger school districts, they approved the employee raises and increased health care premiums last year because they were expecting an increase in state funding. Now they're left in a bind. We made the assumption that those, that those funds will come our way, uh, given everything that has been proposed. Uh, and unfortunately, that didn't happen. After four separate special sessions, the Texas legislature failed to pass any bills that would increase funding for school districts. As a result, Canotillo ISD has been dipping into their emergency fund in order to cover rising expenses. We can't uh, continue that route because if we do, uh, we will have financial uh, consequences. Consequences such as a negative credit rating or even bankruptcy. Canotillo ISD has already eliminated 13 positions, eight of which were occupied, but are trying not to lay off teachers. We try to minimize the impact that it has in the classroom. However, as they try to balance this year's budget, there might not be any stone left unturned. Everything's on the table right now. We, we need to make sure that we provide the community with, with a sound uh, financial outlook. Uh, and that will mean making some sacrifices for us. Disappointed that the state did not allocate increased funding for schools. I can see that they wanted the best for our kids and unfortunately it didn't work out. Gomez shares her concerns. I think transparency in this kind of situation is really important. I hope that they um, are solution oriented and, and come forward with kind of what they plan to do ahead of all of this. District officials say that decreasing enrollment is also a huge factor in their deficit, explaining there are currently 1,800 students within their district boundaries who are not enrolled in their schools, adding that state funding for those students alone would eliminate their deficit. Monica. Thank you so much, Jesus. And, and you were saying that Canotillo ISD, they're planning to uh, ask the voters to approve a bond. Where is all that money going to go now? So, uh, Monica, Canotillo officials explain that there are two main objectives with this potential bond. Uh, one it would be to improve conditions for, the, for their current facilities and to patch up holes. And the second is that uh, with many new and growing neighborhoods within the area, um, they would need to use those funds to relocate some of the schools they currently have in order to increase state funding with new enrollment. Oh, that's incredible. Thank you so much, Jesus, for that report.